Hello and welcome to the Music Theory Guy clinic with me, Music Theory Guy. If you've got a question about music theory, this is the place to get it answered. You can contact me via email or via Twitter or Facebook. And that's precisely what Gilberto Torres from Los Angeles has done. He's written to me and he wants to know about repeats. I've put together a series of six videos on repeats. And in this first video, I'm going to be looking at the simplest type of repeat, whole section repeats. Let's have a look. Okay, for us to understand whole section repeats, we need to have a piece of music without any repeats. So here's one, which I've put together, and let's have a listen to it. Now, as there are no repeats in this very short piece of music, the way it works is that if you're sitting at a piano, you'd start at the very beginning and you play each note one after the other. But this is what happens if repeats do appear in music. Let's pop a couple in. This first one is known as the start repeat and this second one is known as the end repeat. What happens now that we've got a start and end repeat sign is that we start at the very beginning and we play to the end repeat sign and at that point we go back to the start repeat sign and then we carry on playing from the start repeat sign. Let's have a listen to this same piece of music again but with those start and end repeat signs in it. Now in the example you've just heard, the start repeat sign and the end repeat sign are only a bar or a measure apart from each other. Be aware that sometimes in music there might be several bars or measures or even many, many bars or measures away from each other. So always keep an eye out for the start and end repeat signs. Now occasionally there may not even be a start repeat sign. So let's look at what happens in that situation. Let's take away our start repeat sign. This time, this is what happens. You play to the end repeat sign, but this time you go back to the very, very beginning of the piece and you play from the beginning. Let's have a listen. Okay, so we've covered some very simple whole section repeat examples. What you've always got to do with any piece of music is keep your eyes out for any of those start or end repeat signs. If there is an end repeat sign, there may or may not be a start repeat sign, but if there is a start repeat sign, there definitely will be an end repeat sign somewhere. You've just always got to be aware of them and work out exactly where they're repeating from and to. Okay. Well, I hope that's been useful to you, Gilberto, and anybody else that's been watching. If any of you have any further questions about music theory, please do get in touch. I look forward to receiving your emails and messages via Twitter and Facebook. In the meantime, many thanks for watching.